How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Stuff. Welcome back to Italian Ambitions. Uh, we, all of our diplomats have been freed up all of a sudden. We were using all three of them last episode, and no longer, though. So, what do we want to do? Let's see. I think we're going to go to Conquest this episode, right? That's what I was planning. Yeah, it's only been a couple minutes since I recorded the last one, though, so... So I shouldn't be saying, like, you guys know, because I probably know better. Not, not saying that you're dumb or anything, because you're perfectly smart. So what options do we have? I don't remember... We can get this, which is real nice. That is actually a fairly decent one to get, to have. That's too bad. Yeah, that's that's actually not bad at all. We can spend money to get loyalty. And, like, why wouldn't we do that when we have too much money to know what we're to do with? That's really good, too. So, basically, we can get 50 admin from the clergy. We get 50 military from... Oh, here we go. 50 military from these guys and 50 uh, diplo from these guys. That's actually really good. Uh, nice to know. But we have more pressing matters, it looks like. So the nation of Lithuania and faithful allies requesting to come to their aid in the Lithuanian conquest of Kolm against Muscovy. You are allied to Hungary, Pomerania. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. I went to click on you. And Georgia. So... Pomerania, yeah, yeah. So we would be fighting against Muscovy and uh, stuff. So Mus Muscovy is a giant name, which is funny. They still can't form in Russia, though. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll accept this. <sighs> why not? Right? There's plenty of reasons why not, but, you know. Let's unmothball these just in case the Hungarian fleet comes over here. Uh, Ragusa still exists? Wow, I didn't know that. I could probably, like, vassalize them and stuff, which would be funny, but probably not useless, not useful at all. Yeah, why not? Just, like, oh, hey, Burgundy, go, Burgundy, fight. Fight Hungary. Fight Hungary. So I wonder if we could set this. So what if, oh, I'm curious. What if, oh, one sec, give it a sec, it's out of saving. Hey, we have, like, the exact same number of points in each category. Let's go to here. What if we set Lika as a province we want? Because we do have a... And we don't have a claim on it, but it is a... We have a... This is a share of seed zone and stuff, and... If we could just get it for free, I mean... Why not? They might give it to us. Probably not, because it's two secondary participants. You know, one on our side, one on their side. But it's worth a shot, right? Am I right? Him a lot. I want him all a lot. Mmm. So. High nut still exists. How? How do they still exist? I forgot that they had this province, apparently. It's so small. Such a small province. But, you know, let's see. What do we want to do, then? Uh, we could probably declare war on Flanders, right? Yeah, like, Brabant is very strong. I would rather not declare war on them. Although, right now, it might be a good opportunity, because Hungary is in a war. Styria wouldn't join. Hungary can't join. But, like, none of our allies would join, so... Yeah, I wouldn't have any favors. What about you, though? I mean, Alsace and Hamburg. That's not really, like... That bad. I want Burgundy to fabricate claims, so. Yeah, so we had, do have this all in our area that we want to conquer. Why do I not have a... Uh, oh, okay, it was not my map. Maybe. Let's see, what do we want to set as interest? When are we going to start moving into Africa? This is, this is a good question. This is a good question. I don't have the complete answers to yet. Dejerba, interesting. I don't even remember seeing this province before. Ah, jeez, the Ottomans, Ottoman. Why are you so, why are you so rude, Ottoman? Tunis really only has one, one trade, important center of trade. So Rosetta and Iskandria, or whatever it's called. I didn't take the time to look at the name completely. Um. So we're just gonna kind of work on some internal stuff right now, you know. We might want those two. We we'll probably want you and you eventually. 
We want this, we want this. Do the Knights of Rhodes uh, in Malta still exist? They, they freaking do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, we own Malta. I forgot about that. I forgot that I expanded into the islands specifically for the reason that we can now uh, lay claims to all these people. I completely forgot about all that. Like, we should keep going. Let's go on, like, Seuss next, I guess. Who are you allied to? Yeah, so not many big people. In fact, none really. None. No big people, really. That's interesting. Interesting, to say the least. We'll just continue at speed three. I'm looking. I'm not seeing any any Hungarian uh, navies I need to look out for. Might as well go and blockade them. Uh, Burgundy, go. Yeah, just just go, go, just go, do stuff. You know what to do. So how are we go? How are we doing with this war? Yeah, we're gonna win. So I'm not worried about it at all. Oh, our manpower has actually been ticking up, like the max, because. You know, I'm to that point where I just care about the max. I don't even care about how many troops I have. Whoa! And our force limit went way up. Wow. Wow. And we have so many mercenaries available. What is going on right now? We need to make a template because I'm too lazy to go through this. What is our, uh, where, right now, what is the width? 14. Okay. It isn't actually that high. I think I was overestimating it earlier. Create a template. We Let's do, uh... Smaller army because I'm a I'm assuming in the future. We'll have even bigger armies as we can even more powerful So we'll add like 10 of you so we have 14 it said so we should add like 15 probably and then five and then three I think that's a I Think that's decent 15 to five three. It's gonna be an expensive one And it's not even that small of an army, you know, but still let's see so that's 23 total. Interesting. 23 total. That's going to put us near the force limit to the point where I'm, just, I'm not going to build another one. I know we'd go over with that. So that's good. That's a good investment is what I would consider. A good investment of our manpower. I guess, if you want to call it that. I guess... I mean, we might as well go help. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, now that we... Uh, now that we're in freaking... Uh, we're in freaking this patch, then we have uh, favors, and if we participate in the wars, we get participation stuff, we get favors. That's how you earn favors and trust, and Lithuania is definitely a nation I would like to earn the trust of. So, you know. So, like, we can look at our participation. Right now, we have 7% for doing nothing, because I think Burgundy, Burgundy's comes towards mine. That's that's hilarious. And Naples too. If so, that's really rich, and that's that's hilarious. The, the the humor in that is that that the fact that they can be doing all the work for me, my subject nation can, and then it'll all go for me and benefit me. That is actually really great if that's the case. It's gonna be a long walk. Yeah, that's this is this is definitely true. We'll make it there though. We will. So there's a Hungarian army. Which way are you going? You're going that way. Good. I don't want to have to mess with you much. Mm. But yeah, playing as a horde has been fun. I've been playing as a horde quite a bit uh, for the channel and stuff. You should go check out my Golden Horde series if you haven't already. I shamelessly self-advertisement because I'm a jerk, you know. I'm a jerk, you know. I'm a jerk. I know you're a jerk. I, I mixed it up. I did it backwards, I know. but. Hmm. Uh, uh, do we really want to do this? I don't know. I don't think it really, it really helps. Does it? I don't normally build those. Um, we have a lot of docks. I don't think we need more of those. I don't think we really need more trade power either, to be honest. Milan would be a really good one, though, right? Probably. Yeah, like, really good. But I'm not going to do it because I'm dumb. <laughs> Is that, is that an acceptable excuse? Let's see. Do we have any we can do with this that would be above, like, 0.3? Oh, 0.33. Oh, 0.54. Those are the ones that I think are worth it. It's 500 gold. That's a lot of gold. But look how much money we have. Uh, first, look how much money we have. And then second, think about it. 0.5 a month. in. So that's in every year we'll earn about, like, 6. It costs 500. 
after 100 years, we'll get 600. We're going to play for at least probably 100 more years, so it'll at least like pay for itself. Plus, the income is what matters more. The, like, I don't know. It, am I the only one who like thinks like that? I might not be. There might be other crazy people out there. I know I'm crazy. I, I was bored with it. Okay, so what are you? A 19541 siege tick. Ah, that's pretty good. Can't lie, that's pretty good. Because we already had negative 21% instead of like negative 56, whatever the default is. Okay, I thought the music just broke, but it switched songs right at like the beginning of a note. So it kind of made me freak out. Oh, that's not good. We might lose that. Now we're gonna win. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's way too close. That's way too close. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go, go, go. Get up there. Burgundy, what are you doing? Help me, Burgundy. You! Burgundy! That's okay. I guess it doesn't really matter because, like, our manpower is so high, but... Come on. Get there. Get there quickly. Where is the army? There it is. It's not going to make it there in time. I hope that doesn't ruin the culture conversion. Oh, no, that's a missionary. Culture conversion doesn't matter. Ah, freak! They keep getting so much separatism. This is like the second set of rebels, right? Because the other one was from them or whatever. Oh, jeez, I hate this stuff. Oh, I hate this stuff. We're just going to throw men at it till it goes away. This is going well. This is going well indeed. Yeah, 21 pursuit. We can get a lot from just one war, I've heard. I haven't really experimented much with that, but... It's probably because we were converting it. That's probably one reason why it uh, rebelled so quickly. Uh, Brabant's opinion. Uh, the burgers? The, the hamburgers? Hamburglers? Uh, let's continue going. I don't think this is that important. Well, we should we should choose. Let's see. We gain legitimacy. We don't really need legitimacy, but it might just it doesn't hurt. Uh, nobility loses loyalty. They all have about the same loyalty, so we don't care about Vermont. We're gonna go to war with them soon. I don't. So I don't care about this. We would get tax and money for this for twenty years. Um. I, I say we do this one for the money and because it's always good to get uh, loyalty with these guys because we can get like this <laughs> that stuff this is so good oh the influence is greater than 50 so they have they have to have an influence greater than 50 and then it goes up to 70 that seems a little dangerous I don't know if I'm gonna use that one anytime soon all right let's bring you back down here to like well why not well maybe we should go help out yeah, well, since we're already up here, why not, right? And there's plenty of reasons why not. Dangerous, that's why. But we'll try, why not? Yeah, I already said why not. I'm not going to go through this again. Alright, this is going well up here. Anyways, so yeah, so we did pull it off though. We pulled off the conversion to the next patch. Without any major errors, which is really surprising to me. Normally, it completely is like impossible. Bohemia, you're at war with someone? Oh, are you going to war? Oh, Bohemian conquest against Hungary. Good. I hate Hungary. Those jerks are gonna get in my way eventually, but they're, they're good. For, they're cool for now, but I still don't know. No, they're not cool. They're not cool. Don't say that. Uh, what are we losing money for? Jeez. Did I go over the force load on accident? I wouldn't be surprised if I did something like that. Okay, so this is good. We need to renew our vows with you. Ah, still no, no uh, time period where you don't have an heir. I'd really like to get you under my belt. Um, so we can't pick another diplomatic. I w I was gonna try to because of this whole, you know, being like way ahead of time and still having way too many diplo points thing. But, um, we're behind on admin, but we're behind on military, too. Let's just do whichever one we like best out of these two, because it's going to be the same. We're going to get behind a little bit on either either side. 
So we could do Humanist. Humanist is really good. We would have no unrest ever. But at the same time, I don't think this is really going to be a problem. I don't think we're ever going to have any more accepted cultures with how big and how much development we are. Uh, this is good, always. I mean, this is pretty good, but we're not going to be moving into territory where there's a lot of heretics. And that's mostly north of us. We're going to be moving mostly south and east and west. Uh, national unrest is, you know, just that's really good, but I'm not going to lie. I don't care that much about this. This would be fairly good. But I, overall, humanist, I don't think, is the best choice. Naval, no. Quality, probably not. Defensive, probably not. Offensive, possibly. Aristocratic. Out of these, offensive is the one that we would do. Uh, we would build that. We, if we got that, we would have super mutant uh, quality soldiers or space marines, whatever you want to call them. Innovative, I never take. No. Uh, like, right now, we can cross off innovative. We can cross off expansion we can uh, cross off humanist like for reasons I, it is debatable but i would i'm going to cross that off so the question is do we want religious economic or administrative so one of the best parts of religious is the cb uh this deuce vault you know but i don't know if i'm really going to be expanding that much into here i mean there's only a couple countries there it's more better if you're completely surrounded by well actually you know it does have heretics so it could possibly be a good one to go for uh, economic I really like for like this uh, for this this especially like this build cost is okay but it's it's a really good this one is really good it's economic is such a good idea group now um, it always has been it has been a little bit weakened I think in this patch due to this being not as good with the estates uh, and then we have administrative, so we get a lot less mercenary cost, which is good. We are Italy, we're probably going to have several mercenaries in the future, although our manpower is really good as well. <coughs> um, possible advisors is useless. This is pretty much useless. Uh, that's pretty much useless. Really, it comes down to this, the core creation cost. And I think that's a really good thing to have. But at the same time, I don't know if it's really necessary. We're probably going to go a little over on time. That's okay. We're just going to determine what we want. I think I'm going to cross religious off. Wow, that's so good, though. Oh, I don't know what we want to do for religious. Missionary strength versus heretics. Basically, we would either pick religious and be... Here's how it seems. So, economic, make more money, develop more. I don't think we're going to go with that, frankly. I think that's third choice. Religious. Convert everything. Expand a lot religiously in religious areas, conflict areas. You know what I mean. Or administrative, have a lot cheaper cores, make more money. No, we wouldn't even make more money. There's nothing in here about that, but... I mean, this is. So, I don't know. Core creation cost is so good, though. That's, like, the main thing here. Because that could easily pay for itself very soon. Yeah, within a short amount of time. But, I don't know. Religious is so good. You know what? Just, we'll go religious. I think we are. Just because I think it does have a little bit more utility, because we're going to be we'll be able to convert faster. That's a big part of that. My decision making there is the fact that yeah, we're going to be conquering a lot of this anyways, and there's only a couple big countries, so it doesn't really matter that we we don't need the CBs that much. But uh, what it does matter for is, by the way, good work, uh, Portugal and Spain. Um, did they just form Spain? No, they've been in Spain for a while. What am I talking about? I think it was just something about the name it was kind of fuzzling me. Uh, but the main thing is that we want to convert this fast because it's going to be a lot of unrest if we don't. It's going to make everything a lot easier. And if we do move in here, which we are going to have to eventually a little bit. I mean, not have to. We probably will want to. Then that'll be good. So I think it's it's fine. I think this is good. I can be happy with what we're doing. Do you want to go help against Muscovy themselves? I mean, sure, let's go up to Neva. Neva say Neva, bruh. Bruh. Who's first, I wonder? Muscovy or Ming or the Ottomans, one of the above? Let's go look. Countries. 
Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Uh, the Ottomans. Oh, I'm so close behind them. And then Portugal. Wow. Really? And Genoa? <laughs> what is Genoa doing? Where is Genoa? Do they even exist? Where's Genoa? Am I blind? Where's Where the fudge is Genoa? That's not Genoa up there. That's not Genoa. Am I crazy? Does Genoa not exist? Do they exist? Am I crazy right now? Did they just get eaten, maybe, since we started playing? That's always a possibility. Muscovy. Oh, so big. Much big. Good. We already made it up there, surprisingly. It's a long walking distance. Yeah, it's a little scary to have that 15 stack there, but I'm sure that I'll be helped out if it comes to that. Um. Oh, Genoa. Yeah, so they're... Yeah, they're 240. They're dead last in every category. They're dead. So, Nuremberg is dead, I believe. Albania is dead. I guess... I don't know how they got so much score right off the bat. That's very strange, actually. It just kind of messed up the score. So, Lithuania doesn't... Doesn't, uh... Does not surprise me. Lubeck? Lubeck actually exists? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Lubeck is a nation now, aren't they? The Hansa no longer exists as a nation. I it's so sad. R.I.P. Hansa. R.I.P. Hansa. Okay, that's good. They can try to see us back if they want. How much have we contributed to the war? Yeah, 30%. And I wonder if the total amount scales so we'll actually get more based off of the fact that it's been like a larger, longer war. We spent more manpower. I don't know exactly how that works. Either way, thank you for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you agree with my decision to take uh, religious ideas. I think it fits, you know. We're Italy. We are the strong Catholics. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. And I forgot the papal state still exists. Goodbye.